G.P. Terrio, real estate expert. And G.P., number one, happy Thanksgiving week to you and your family, my friend. Thanks for joining me. Yeah, thank you. Happy Thanksgiving week to yourself. All right. Uh, I wanted to have you on because so many people in the past have just simply purchased homes to make repairs to them and maybe flip them to make uh, a few thousand dollars, if not an exorbitant amount of money. And many people just buying homes um, for future investments. Apparently, there's been an exorbitant fall or a precipitous fall, rather, in those types of purchases. Uh, tell us what's going on. How I guess how stagnant is it right now? And obviously, um, the high rates are causing this, correct? Yeah, I mean, we're seeing these interest rates on investor. You know, when we say investor homes, those are people, like you said, buying, you know, long-term, holding it, renting it out as a cash flow, you know, property where they're making some type of net income on that property. Well, it's a numbers game. Right now, these rates, you know, the Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, they're, they're pretty much trying to price it out where they're not attractive uh to uh, these investors, I mean, these rates right now, I mean, they're literally over 8%, but on top of that, you're almost having to pay two points, which you're, you're having to pay for the rate on top of it. So it's just, it, it's, it doesn't make sense for these investors right now, the smart ones, they're just sitting on the sideline, hoping that these rates will come down if they're wanting a loan. I mean, your best option is either buy it cash or a lot of times a private money, but these, you know, private monies were usually higher, but they're almost in the same ballpark as a standard mortgage going through a bank for an investment property home. GP, say like four or five months ago, what if I wanted to get a 30-year fixed on a $200,000 home? What would it cost me monthly? Well, I mean, well, again, it just depends on, depends on the, the, um, the purchase price, but I can tell you this. It costs a lot significantly. We were 2% lower. And the way how an investment rate works is it's usually about anywhere to three quarters to percent higher than if you were buying a primary resident. But I mean, difference in payment right now, I mean, we're talking anywhere from three to $600, almost to a thousand. So again, if they're, if they're losing money, you know, these investors, they're just, they're a lot smarter. I mean, I wouldn't jump in the game. Maybe I'd wait on it. Now, how long would you expect people to wait? When are we going to see, I guess, things improve? Yeah, I think we're going to see in 2023, we're going to see a huge improvement. I think, you know, the inflation, is, it's just there's there's got to be, it's got to give, right? And, you know, these economists that I'm following, they're saying that uh, we could see it as fast as in six months where rates could start coming down. And when I say rates coming down, we could see in the fives again for a primary residence, which means then we're going to see investment rates probably back in the sixes again. So I definitely think, you know, there's, there's a light at, all, at the end of this, a good light, meaning that uh, I think it could happen a lot faster than what we think. Well, uh, that that's, you know, great news to so many years. I mean, so many people um, 18 months ago to upwards of six months ago, uh, they were gobbling up homes in record numbers, supercharging the housing market. But you're saying sooner than later, there's going to be some relief and people can get back on the bandwagon and start purchasing these homes as investments down the line. Absolutely. And, you know, and that, that's another big point though. You know, a lot of these people right now with the right strategy you know, they might want to be looking, getting in the game now if they can fight through the storm because uh, they're going to be ahead of everybody because once these rates come down, the floodgates are going to open. Everybody's going to jump back in, and we can see the chaos like we saw 12 months ago of everybody wanting to buy a home. So does that mean we're going to inflate these home prices again and just get, get crazy again? So you think uh, home prices are going to go through the roof on, what, six, eight months down the road? I think you could see, uh, you know, possibly – over asking price again or, or people going in aggressively because I mean there it's a mentality when you hear rates in five percent com compared to over seven percent I mean people think now's the time to buy so let's jump back in again so you know if, if you're considering buying now is the time to get in to be ahead of everyone else I, I can't stress that enough right now plus you've got a lot more leverage because these sellers have been kind of panicking with these homes sitting a lot longer on the market so you've got a whole lot more negotiating power where you can have these sellers buy your rate down so that's a big strategy we're using right now don't go in and lowball it have them pay twenty thirty thousand to to buy the rate down so your payment's much lower so that's a huge strategy that's working
GP, I look back to when I bought my first house, and it was in 1997, and it was at uh, it was seven and a quarter, and it was fixed. And literally over the next four years, I think I refied twice. Is that something you think uh, is going on right now? Oh, we're going to see that for sure in 2023. That's why you, you're hearing a lot of these temporary buy down rates where. You, you can buy your rate down 2% or have the seller buy it down for you, and it's just a temporary. It's locked in for 12 months or no more than 24 months because if, if I was a gambling man going to Vegas, I would bet that we're going to have a refi boom in less than 24 months. Again, we could see it in this coming year for sure in 2023. GP Therio, real estate expert. GP, again, thanks so much for joining me today, pal, and you have a tremendous Thanksgiving with you and yours. All right, my man? Thank you.